Hello everyone, Dr. Robert Stanley, Smile Engineer here. Today I want to talk to you about the difference between a three-unit bridge and a dental implant for tooth replacement. So in the old days, we used to do bridges when we were missing a tooth. So in my model here, you'll note that there's a missing tooth here. And the way a bridge works is you put, you cut down on the tooth in front and behind where you're missing the tooth, and you create this three-unit bridge. The tooth in the middle is fake, and then that crown's on either side. And what happens is this goes down over the missing spot, it bridges over the missing tooth, and it creates a nice solution. The problem with the three-unit bridge is the same problem that you have on a bridge on the highway. When you drive underneath that bridge, debris is up underneath the corners, and we all know this. In the mouth, the same thing happens. It's very difficult to keep these three-unit bridges clean. So what ends up happening is, in 15 years, half of these have fallen out of the mouth. And they've fallen out of the mouth because now there's decay on the adjacent teeth. And now we have a bigger problem. So a dental implant says, hey, don't mess with the teeth in front and behind of my missing tooth. It says, if I'm missing a tooth here, only work here. Put the implant here, leave these teeth alone, put the abutment on, and then the crown goes over it, and voila, you have a very lifelike solution. One that allows you to floss around it like normal and brush around it like normal. So the, the survival rate for the implants is higher than the three in a bridge simply because you can keep it clean easier.